In today's video, I'm gonna share with you six things I've learned by fishing with Lincoln from Landfish TV. Number one, first cast, first light. This is something Lincoln absolutely lives by and he gets himself prepared the night before and he is on the water when that sun starts to glow on the horizon. And if you watch a lot of his videos and a lot of his good fish, they're often caught when there's barely enough light for the GoPro to work to pick up the action. Or even when there is a bit of light, you look around, there's no one else on the pier. And I believe this is because he's there so early, everyone else is still in bed. I think getting there when the fish are hungry and they're just waking up and the sun isn't directly overhead, that just seems to be a real key to catching fish in some of these high pressure locations. Number two, he works the lure all the way up to his feet. He doesn't give up on the retrieve a few meters away from himself. He doesn't give up when the lure's two or three meters away. He works that lure all the way to his feet. And when you're walking down a long jetty or rock wall, that actually means you're covering a lot more territory. Because that last two or three meters, uh, multiplied times the length of that pier or the length of that jetty, it means that you're actually working that lure over a much larger territory than someone who just gives up on the retrieve a few meters out and then just quickly winds the lure in. Number three, he works the structure he's standing on. Whether that be a rock wall or a pier or a jetty, he knows that there is structure beneath his feet, there is habitat for fish, there are piles going into the ground, there are things growing on the jetty, there's shade. Jetties and rock walls and the things that we go to fish on are often fish attracting devices in themselves. And although he still will do the typical 90 degree out, cast out from the pier and try to fish some of the deeper water and out from the pier, I notice at least 50% of his casts and his fishing are happening right at his feet. He's constantly making casts along the length of a jetty or a rock wall instead of out away from it. And I would say some of his best fish are caught fishing that way. The other thing I've noticed is he can't work the lure too slowly. He works the lure very, very slowly and subtly and leaves long pauses. I find if we're fishing together and he's hooking up and I'm not, I will often pay attention to what he's doing in his retrieve and he's often leaving longer pauses and reeling the lure in slowly. I will also mention that most of his reels are a five to one gear ratio, where most of my reels are a six to one gear ratio. Even if we're turning the handle at the exact same rate, he's actually bringing his lure in 20% slower because of the lower gear ratio on the reels he uses. So that is one real tip I've learned from him. If you're not getting fish, try slowing down. If you're still not getting fish, slow down some more. The next thing I've noticed is he fishes light. He's always fishing a little bit lighter than I am. If I'm on 10 pound braid and a 15 pound leader, he's gonna be on six pound braid and an eight pound leader. If I'm fishing a half ounce jig head, he's almost always gonna be on a quarter ounce jig head. He's always fishing a little bit lighter than I am. And that gives his uh, lures and his, his presentation of that lure a little bit more subtle action. It's got a little slower fall. I do find that he just fishes a fair bit lighter than I do, almost always one step down. And I often find if he's getting fish and I'm not, just a change in jig head or just coming back on the weight of my leader and jig head will make a difference and it will bring fish on when I'm not hooking up and he is. The other thing he does is he keeps moving. He never stops moving. He doesn't do the typical pier fishing, show up in a location, sit on a pocket, and wait for the fish to come along. He's always moving along the pier or the rock wall or whatever he's fishing off of. He just keeps moving. A few casts moves along, a few casts and moves along. The other thing is he's really set himself up for this. He's got a backpack, it's got his camera gear, it's got his fishing gear, and it's got his net. It's all sort of one unit so that he has his hands free, he's got his gear on his back, and he can easily walk along that pier and just keep moving and fishing, moving and fishing. That sort of mobility, along with the fact that he's constantly casting, allows him to cover a huge region, just up and down one pier, and, and honestly, 
if he's fishing one location for a while and, and he doesn't get any fish, he doesn't just stick to that one pier. He'll go to the next pier longer, he'll drive somewhere else. He's constantly moving, trying to find the fish. And this is something that I find is quite different than a lot of land-based or pier fishermen where they typically pick one location and sit there and wait for the fish to come along. Well, that's it. Those are the main tips I've learned by fishing with Lincoln from Landfish TV. I wanted to make this video because he has just hit 10,000 subscribers. He's now over 2 million views. It's pretty exciting to see one of the local guys, one of our local fishermen, making good on YouTube and, and really making some progress in this small community that we have. So that's awesome. If you don't know about Landfish TV or Lincoln's channel, I'll put a link in the description below. You should really check it out, particularly if you're a Victorian or you're local to Melbourne or you're a land-based fisherman. He's got some great tips and you can learn a lot by watching the videos he's got on his channel and he's got heaps of them on there now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.